The Rolls-Royce thrust measuring rig, nicknamed the Flying Bedstead, was the world's first jet lift vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Developed in the early 1950s under Dr. Alan Arnold Griffith, it served as a research platform to explore vertical flight using jet propulsion. Built at Hucknall Aerodrome in England, the thrust measuring rig featured a steel tube frame on four-wheeled legs. It used two Rolls-Royce Nienmacke IV turbojets mounted back-to-back, -back, producing combined thrusts slightly exceeding its 3,267 kilograms takeoff weight. Thrust was directed downward through central and side nozzles near the center of gravity, maintaining balance even if one engine failed. Flight control relied on compressed air expelled from engine compressors via four outrigger arms, managing roll, pitch, and yaw. About 10% of engine airflow was diverted for stabilization. With no wings or tailplanes, the rig lacked natural stability and required an automatic stabilizer system. Initially dual-channel, it later adopted a partial triplex setup for better reliability. Tethered hover tests began in July 1953, with the first official flight on August 19, 1953. Free flights started on August 3, 1954, piloted by Ronald Thomas Shepard. The thrust measuring rig demonstrated hovering, climbing, and slow maneuvering, reaching up to 15 meters. Flight endurance ranged from 6 to 15 minutes. Key challenges included engine response lag 1 to 2 seconds, complicating altitude control, especially during landings. Wind limits also restricted operations to below 10 knots due to poor stability. After initial trials, the thrust measuring rig moved to the Royal Aircraft Establishment Farnborough and then the Royal Aircraft Establishment Bedford in 1956 for further study of artificial stabilization and low-speed handling. On September 16, 1957, pilot Stan Hubbard safely landed after a thrust vectoring failure. Tragedy struck on November 28, 1957, when Wing Commander Hans Gustav Felix Larsen was killed in a crash during his first flight in the second rig, XK-426. Despite setbacks, the program provided vital insights. A Ministry of Aviation report concluded that future jet lift vertical takeoff and landing aircraft required improved engine responsiveness and advanced stabilization systems. These findings led to the development of the Rolls-Royce RB-108 lift engine, tested on the short SC.1 and Gloucester Meteor derivatives. Today, the first unit, serial XJ314, is preserved and displayed at the Science Museum in London. The thrust measuring rig remains a pioneering milestone in aviation, a crude but visionary step toward practical vertical flight.